Hi folks, it's Philip Andrews here from the Photoshop Elements team and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at the Guided Edit Workspace. You know that we have three different modes in the Editor Workspace for Photoshop Elements. You can see them at the top here, Quick, Guided and Expert. Today we're going to be looking at the Guided Workspace and it's a great one for you to actually learn new t techniques and new ways of changing your images. Have a look on the right hand side here and you'll see as we flick down that there's a range of different techniques here that you can apply to your photos. For this particular tutorial what we're going to do is go into the photo effects section and we have two different portraits here to be working with. If you have a look down in the photo bin you'll see that we have a quite strong portrait of a male and a very soft portrait of a little girl. We're going to apply two different effects to these portraits and then new effects for Photoshop Elements 11. So I'm just going to hide the photo bin for a minute by just clicking on photo bin and just concentrating on working on this portrait of a young girl. We're going to create a high key effect. So we'll select high key from the panel on the right hand side. Notice with our guided edits instructions, we can roll over the thumbnail at the top and see a before and after to get an indication of the type of effect that we're going to get when we're working with our images. The first step is to select between color or black and white for the effect. We're going to go with a color effect this time. Clicking color just applies that effect straight away and you can see that the image has been lightened and the color has been softened a little bit. There's a second step which is optional but you can choose to add a diffuse glow as well to the image. Now this picture as it is is looking quite good. If you want to add an even softer effect as well you can just click add diffuse glow. You can see the change has been made to the image straight away, but remember you can also go down and select in the view drop down menu before and after. You can see the two different images here and this is how it was originally and this is how it looks afterwards. You can see it's a much more high key, still has fine detail, but it's very soft and very pastel-y type image. I'm just going to click done now to save those changes off. But remember these changes are being saved back to the organizer in a version set so you can always revert back to the original if you wish. Let's go to the second image now and you can see it's a very strong portrait and very striking. This time we're going to click on low key and we're going to apply a black and white adjustment to it. Remember we'll roll over the thumbnail to get an indication of the before and after results and we'll click on black and white and you can see how strong the result is straight away. We might want to adjust this result slightly, so I'm just going to go and click after only in our view menu and zoom in a little bit by holding down control and clicking the plus key. You can see it's quite strong on the face, don't worry too much about that for the moment. What we're going to do is adjust what's happening in the background to start with. If we click on the background brush option, we have a size control which controls the size of the brush and an opacity control which adjusts how strong the effect is. I'm going to increase the size and drop down the opacity a little bit and just brush over these bright spots on the shirt that you can see there. So we can use this background brush to darken areas of the image. We can use the third option which is reduce effect brush and we use that to lighten the effect in parts of the image. Again we've got a size and an opacity slider so I'm going to increase the size so I get a bigger brush and I'm going to brush over parts of the air image, in particular on the portrait, to lighten or remove the strength of the effect in those parts of the image. So you can see we can control the effect, especially around places like the eyes and in the shadowy areas, so that we get a little bit more, I guess, detail coming back into the image. We've still got the predominantly strong and very low-key image, but we can adjust how strong the effect is by using the Reduce Effect brush. Once you're happy with the results, just click Done to apply those changes. And again, we can look at Before and After by just selecting that option from the View panel. So you can see, by using the Guided Edit Workspace, you not only get step-by-step -step instructions, but you get all of the features and the tools inside the panel, plus the ability to apply sophisticated enhancements very easily to your images.